Pleasant morning to my dear lovable students. Welcome to Max class. In this conversation, we are going to discuss about the new chapter, chapter number five. So, what is the name of chapter number five? Binomial theorem and the sequence. Okay. So now, <coughs> I'm moving to example five point one four. Question: Find seven numbers. We need to find out seven numbers so that the sequence. What are the sequence is given? Solution. Four, y one, y two, y three, so y one, y two, y three, y four, y five, y six, y seven. The last number also seven is there. So now is in AP. So look at there. The condition we need the seven numbers, isn't it? So the series also four to seven is there. So four to seven means a one to a seven total seven. Then seven plus one is equal to eight. Alternative opposite side also one more number that is called nine. So total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's correct now. The second. So now condition arithmetic progression means the starting with the a. Then this is called a plus d. Next one called a plus two d, next one a plus three d, next one a plus four d, then a plus five d, a plus six d, a plus seven d. Last condition also equating what is the meaning a plus eight d. That's a series now. So d means difference, a means starting the number. Okay. So now. Just equating. What are the known values? The first known values is there four, as well as the last known values, seven is there, isn't it? Therefore, we can say a is equal to four. The last condition also, a plus a d is equal to seven. So now, just a is equal to four means instead of a, take the next condition. Four plus a d is equal to seven means a d is equal to plus four. Bring it opposite side minus four. Therefore, 8d is equal to 3 means d is equal to 3 by 8. Once we found starting and difference, then it will be easy now to find it one by one. That is a one now. Therefore, a one is equal to what is the value? D just I will write it. D is equal to 3 by 8, isn't it? D is equal to 3 by 8. So a one means a plus d. Therefore, a is equal to for d means Three by eight, so common denominator eight means four eights are thirty-two plus three. So thirty-two plus three means thirty-five by eight. So thirty-five by eight means so definitely the mixture fraction eight fours are thirty-two. So four by eight, then thirty-two minus thirty-five means balance three, isn't it? So if this is mixed number now. Four eights are thirty-two. Thirty-two plus three means thirty-five. So thirty-five by eight. This is a one. Then a two. A two means a plus two d. A plus two d. So a is equal to four plus two d. So two into three by eight, isn't it? Now the common denominator eight means eight four is thirty two plus two three is six. Therefore thirty eight by eight. This is also common denominator eight. Again also eight four is thirty two, but thirty eight minus thirty two means six balance. Next one, a three is equal to a plus three d. A is equal to four plus three into d means three by eight. So common denominator eight. Eight fours are thirty two. Three threes are nine. So thirty two plus nine means forty one divided by eight. Again answer divided by eight. Then five eights are isn't it? Five eights are forty. Then forty one minus forty means one balance. So five one by eight. The next one a four. So a four is equal to a plus four d. So a means four plus four into d value three by eight. Now again common denominator eight means four eights are thirty two plus four threes are twelve. So thirty-two plus twelve means forty-four divided by eight. Therefore, 
common denominator 8, 5 8s are 40, but 44 is there. So, 44 minus 40 means 4 will come. So, we found A1 is equal to 4 3 by 8, isn't it? So, A1 is equal to 4, 3 by 8, then A2, 4, 6 by 8, A3, 5, 1 by 8, then A4, 5, 4 by 8. Then one more 3 values we need, isn't it? Then la, next condition A5 means A5 is equal to A plus 5D. Again, A is equal to 4, 4 plus 5 into D value, 3 by 8. Now, common denominator 32 means, sorry dear, common denominator 8, isn't it? 4 8s are 32 plus 5 3s are 15. Therefore, 47 by 8. Again, common denominator 8, 5 8s are 40. 47 minus 40 means 7 by 8. So, A 5, 5, 7 by 8. Next condition A6. A6 means A plus 6D. Again 4 plus 6 into D value 3 by 8. Common denominator 8, 8 4s are 32 plus 6 3s are 18. 32 plus 18 means 50 divided by 8. Therefore, 6 8s are 48. 50 minus 48 means true. 6 true by 8. The last condition. 7. So, A 7 is equal to A plus 70. Therefore, A is equal to 4, D is equal to 3 by 8. 7 into 3 by 8. 8 means 8 4s are 32 plus 3 7s are 21. Now, 53 divided by 8. Now, common denominator 8 means 6 8s are 48. So, 53 minus 48 means 6 5 by 8. This is answer 6 5 by 8. Now, one condition is clear, then one more, also four numbers also we need to find out in geometric progression. So, geometric means, what are the sequence? So, geometric, the condition 12. G1, G2, G3, G4, last term also 3 by 8. The series A, AR, AR square, AR cube, AR power 5, 4, then AR power 5. The known values, first condition A is equal to 12. The last series AR to the power 5 is equal to 3 by 8. Now, Instead of we apply 12, so 12 r power 5 is equal to 3 by 8. Therefore, r power 5 is equal to 3 by 8 into 12. So, 3 and 12, how many times? 4 times. Therefore, r power 5 is equal to 1 by 8 fours are 30 true. Now, r power 5 means we can write now 1 by 2 the whole power 5. 1 power 5 means 1, 2 power 5 means 30 true. So, 5 I can neglect means 5 r value 1 by 2. After getting A and R, so R is equal to what we found? 1 by 2. So, now we can apply G1 term. G1 means AR, isn't it? So, G1 is equal to AR. A is equal to 12 into 1 by 2. Value 6. So, G1 is equal to 6. Next condition, G2 is equal to G2 is equal to AR square. Therefore, A means 12 into R square means 1 by 4, isn't it? Then 4 and 12, how many times? 3 times. So, G2 is equal to 3. Then G3 is equal to A R cube. Again, A is equal to 12 into 1 by 2, the whole cube means 1 by 8. Now, 12 and 8, how many times? 3 and 2. This is, we can say, you know, 3 by 2, isn't it? So, 3 by 2 means mixed fraction number, common denominator 2, then 1, 1 by 2, isn't it? So, 1 into 2, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 by 2. 
then next term this is g3 g4 means what is the meaning g4 a r power 4 a r power 4 means a is equal to 12 into r power 4 means 1 by through the whole power 4 we can write 1 by 16 therefore 12 and 16 3 and 4 answer 3 by 4 therefore so g1 is equal to 6 g2 is equal to 3 then g3 is equal to 1 1 by 2 then g4 is equal to 3 by 4 okay so this is answer for example 5.14 okay i will continue the next example okay we stay on the line Question number example 5.15 if the product of 4th, 5th and 6th term of geometric progression condition 4096 is there then and if the product of 5th, 6th, 7th term of its 3 to 7, 6, 8 find the sum of first 8 times okay so find the sum of first 8 times geometric progression means what is the meaning so 5th, 6th, 7th geometric progression so 4th and 5th, 6th is there isn't it so a a r power so geometric progression first of all, how to start g p a r to the power n minus 1 so 4 is there isn't it therefore geometric progression a n so a n means a r to the power n minus 1 a 4 means a r to the power 4 minus 1 therefore a 4 means a r to the power 3 as well as we need 5th 6th and 7th also we need isn't it therefore a 5 means we can write it a r to the power 4 a 6 means we can write it a r to the power 3 a 7 means we can write it a r to the power sorry my dear 6 means r to the power 5 7 means r to the power 6 so product the condition so 4th, 5th, 6th. So, 4th, 5th, 6th means definitely. So, this is 4th, 5th, 6th means a r cube, then a r power 4, then a r power 6 is equal to what is the value? 4096. 4096. So, a into a into a means a cube, r power 3, r power 4, r power 6. Already we know a to the power m into a to the power n means a to the power m plus n therefore 3 plus 4 7 7 plus 3 13 so sorry 7 plus 6 13 no 3 sorry 5 6 means a to the power 5 so 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 3 means 12 so r to the power 12 is equal to 4096 this is equating equation number 1 the next one 5th 6th 7th so 5th 6th 7 means a r power 4 into a r power 5 into a r power 6 is equal to 3 to 7 6 8 now a into a into a means a cube 4 plus 5 9 9 plus 6 means 15 15 is equal to 3 to 7 6 8 this is considered for equation number 2 equation 1 divided by equation 2 means what will happen equation 1 a cube r power 12 divided by a cube r power 15 is equal to 4096 over 3 to 7 6 8 so a power 3 a power 3 cancel 12 and 15 balance 3 is there. therefore 1 by r 3 is equal to 2 times means true 0 9 means 4 16 means 8 so 1 6 3 8 and 4 now directly 2 0 4 8 into 8 because 2 and 16 cancel means 8 times isn't it so just shortcut we can apply 2 0 2 0 4 8 into 8 means how many times 8 8 are 64 means 4 6 4 8 are 32 32 plus 6 means 38 so now carry 3, 8, 8 zeros are 0, 0 plus 3 means 3, 2 8s are 16, so 1, 6, 3, 8, 4, 1, 6, 3, 8, 4. So cancel means we can write how many times? 8 times. 1 by r cube, we can have 1 by 8 is there, therefore we can write now 1 by r cube means 1 by 2 cube, therefore cube cube delete means we can say r is equal to 2, 
after getting the r value substitute any one equation okay substitute r value in equation 1 okay what is equation number 1 a cube into r to the power 12 is equal to 4096 therefore a cube true power 12 is equal to 4096 now so 2 power 12 means already we know 2 power 10 means 1024 so 2 power 11 means 2048 definitely 2 power 12 means 2096 therefore sorry 4096 no so a cube to 4096 is equal to 4096 so 4096 4096 cancel means a cube is equal to 1 means definitely a value also 1 after getting a and r value to apply geometric progression find the sum of first 8 times so find the sum of first 8 times so find the sum of first 8 times in formula sn is equal to a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So, the condition also r greater than 1. Already we have the answer also r is equal to greater than 1. True value is there. So, possible to apply this formula. So, we need 8 times. You know, therefore, s 8 is equal to a already we found how much 1 is there. So, 1 into r means true. So, true power n means 8 is not it. So, now minus 1 divided by r minus 1 so r minus 1 means true minus 1 therefore 2 power 8 2 power 8 means the true into true into true into true 2 to the power 4 4 to the power 8 8 to the power 16 again 16 into 16 means the true 56 therefore true 56 minus 1 divided by 1 therefore find first 8 times answer true 55 this is answer for example 5.15 okay i will continue the exercise 5.2 okay Moving to exercise 5.2, question number 2, write first 6 times, okay, of the sequence whose nth time, an is given below, 3 subdivision is there, each and every subdivision we have to find out first 6 times, okay, I am moving to subdivision 1, consider for a1 means, so 1, odd number or even number, odd number, so odd number means condition n plus 1, so n plus 1 means instead of n we can take it 1, therefore 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Then a true, a true means even number, even number means true we can write it directly. Then we need first 6 times, therefore a 3. So a 3 means definitely 3 odd number or even number, odd number. Odd number means 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. The next condition a 4, 4 is even number means directly we can write it because n is even means as it is value also n. Then a 5 means definitely 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, why if n is odd? Last condition a 6, 6 is even means condition also 6. The first subdivision 1 answer true, true, double 4, double 6. Now moving to subdivision true. So subdivision true. So a n, so a 1, 1 is condition is there. n is equal to 1 means directly we can write it. So a true means condition is true. Then n greater than 2 means condition is there. A n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 therefore a 3 means 3 minus 1 a true then 3 3 minus 1 true again 3 minus true 1 so a true we know true plus a 1 already we found therefore a 3 is equal to 3 then a 4 so a 4 is equal to again 4 minus 1 a true plus 4 minus true Sorry, my dear, 4 minus 1, 3. Plus 4 minus 2, true. Therefore, a3 value, 3 plus a2 is equal to true. 5. Next condition, a5. a5 means 5 minus 1, a4. Then 5 minus true, 3. a4 is equal to 5. Then a3 is equal to 3. It's equal to 8. Last one, 6. 6 minus 1, 5, then plus 6 minus 2, 4, a 5 is equal to 8, a 4 is equal to 5, so therefore 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. 
subdivision third subdivision third first one a1 1 to 3 as it is therefore a1 is equal to 1 then a2 means true then a3 also 3 a4 n greater than 3 means we can apply if n greater than 3 means a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 plus a n minus 3 therefore a4 is equal to 4 minus 1 a3 4 minus 2 a2 4 minus 3 a1 a3 is equal to 3 a2 means true a1 means 1 3 plus true 5 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 next condition a5 is equal to a5 minus 1 a4 plus 5 minus true a3 then 5 minus 3 so a4 means 6 a3 means 3 a2 means true 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 2 means 11. Last condition, A6. 6 minus 1, 5 plus 6 minus 2, 4 plus 6 minus 3. So, A5 is equal to 11, then A4 is equal to 6, then A3 is equal to 3. Therefore, 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 11 is equal to 20. So, question number 2 is over, okay. I will continue the next question. Question number 3 from exercise 5.2. Write the nth term of the following sequence given four subdivision. Okay. One by one. I am moving to subdivision 1. Condition true, true, 4, 4, 6, 6. So consider for a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, a6. So a1 means definitely word number. 3 also word number. 5 also word number. Look at there. The condition, so word number means series means definitely true, 4, 6 is there. Then even number also check it there. True means this is even number part. True, then 4, 6 is there. The condition a n if n is word. n is word means look at there. n is word. So 1 means word number. 3 also word number, then 5 also word number. So definitely n plus 1 only we will get the true. Look at there, a, a n isn't it? So a n is equal to n plus 1. I will take it for only word number. a 1 means definitely 1 plus 1 is equal to true. See, then next condition 3 is there. 3 means what did I say? a 3 means 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. See, 4. The next condition also a 5 means definitely 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Therefore, if n is word means the formula n plus 1. Then next condition, if n is even. n is even means as it is no. So, directly we can write n only. Because if n is equal to even, no, take it true means n is equal to true. Then take it 4 means n is equal to the if n is even. The next 4, 2, 4, 6 like that. So, 4th term means definitely 4 is there. Then 6th term means definitely 6 is there. This is a condition. Therefore, so condition the nth term of following the first subdivision a n means n plus 1 if n is word. Second case if n is even is equal to n. Okay. Moving to subdivision true. Which I will write it here. Subdivision true. Condition 1 by true. Then true by 3. 3 by 4. Then 4 by 5. Look at there. Denominator. So denominator. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's moving on like that, isn't it? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. Denominator 2, 3, 4, 5, it's moving on. So what is the main condition? 1 means so definitely 1 by true, true as it is. How to split the line? 1 by 1 plus 1, then 2 by 2 plus 1, 3 by 3 plus 1, then 4 by 4 plus 1. See. 1 by 2 means what is the meaning? 1 plus 1. So, numerator 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. Then, denominator add one number, isn't it? Therefore, we can say, you know, n by n plus 1. It's a formula, you know, n by 
n plus 1 it n belongs to natural number natural number means starting with 1 condition if n is equal to 1 means what will happen 1 by 1 plus 1 that is answer 1 by 2 first condition okay i will take it third 1 2 3 okay if n is equal to 3 means definitely 3 by 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 3 by 4 3 by 4 so i hope you understand so for second term actually a n is equal to n by n plus 1 n belongs to natural number okay moving to subdivision third So, 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 5 by 6, 7 by 8. Consider for A1, A2, A3, A4. So, A1, uh, look at their numerator 1, 3, 5, 7, only one number. Check it, denominator 2, 4, 6, 8. It is moving on even number, isn't it? Therefore, the condition definitely what the time will be possible if n is. So, first condition, own number, own number means definitely 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1. So, denominator we can write it, even number means we can write now only 2n. If you take it, n is equal to 1 means 1 into 2, 2. But numerator, check it very clearly, 1, 3, 5, 7 is there. So, 2n minus 1. So, 2n minus 1 means definitely if you take it, if n is equal to 0 means what will happen? 2n minus 1 means definitely 2 into 0 minus 1 will come. Therefore, answer will be minus 1. But the condition n is it 0 not possible. Why? So, n belongs to natural number means take it 2n plus 1. Then only it will be easy. Natural number is starting with 1, no? So, the value a n is equal to 2n plus 1 divided by 2n. If n is equal to any one value, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? If n is equal to 4 means a4 is equal to a4 is equal to 2 into 4 plus 1 divided by 2 into 4. Therefore, 2 into 4. Sorry, my dear, 2n minus 1, isn't it? 2n minus 1. Then only correct. Not 2n plus 1. Here, 2n minus 1. Therefore, 2 fours are 8. 8 minus 1 divided by 8. Therefore, answer 7 by 8. So I explained the the condition 2n minus 1 or 2n plus 1. Starting with the 0 means not possible. Starting with the 0 means not possible. Why? It is not belongs to natural number. 0 means. That is why if you take it 2n minus 1, starting with 1 means positive 1 means natural number. No, we can say therefore 2 into 1 means 2. 2 minus 1 means 1 by 2 will come. Okay. I hope you understand the condition. An is equal to 2n minus 1 divided by 2n. N, it belongs to natural number. Okay. I am moving to subdivision 4. So, A1 is equal to 6. Then, A2 is equal to 10. Then, A3 is equal to 4. Then, A4 is equal to 12. Then, A5 is equal to true. Then, A6 is equal to 14. Then, A7 is equal to 0. Look at their own number. 6, 4, true 0 it's a decreasing now 6 4 true it's decreasing the part so decreasing means what the term will be possible there we have n equal to 7 means 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 isn't it therefore 7 minus n look at there 7 minus n now if n is equal to 1 means 7 minus 1 is equal to 6 see 6 then okay if n is equal to 7 no if n is equal to 7 means definitely 7 minus 7 is equal to 0. Prove. Therefore, the first term, the word number means definitely 7 minus n. If n is word, okay, the first condition, first condition, a n is equal to 7 minus n. If n is word, okay, then if n is even means 8 plus n, check it there, 8 plus n, even. 10 is there, 1, 2, isn't it? If n is equal to 2 means 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. 
uh, one more condition 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 if n is equal to 6 if n is equal to 6 means 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 14 is there now therefore 8 plus n when if n is even okay so i hope you understand i will continue the next question I am moving to question number 4 from exercise 5.2. Question the product of 3 increasing number GP is 5832. Solution let the GP geometric progression be GP order A by R, A second time divided by first time, isn't it? So into AR. Then the condition if we add to 6 first you have to simplify now. so a by r so product of first 3 so product of first 3 means definitely a by r into a into a r is equal to given value 5 8 3 true so r or cancel means a cube is equal to 5 8 3 true so 5 8 3 2 means 5 8 3 2 second table 2 times 18 means 9 3 means 1 12 means 6 Again true 1 4 11 means 5 16 means 8 again true 7 true 18 means 9 the ninth table means 9 8 are 72 then 1 9 8 are so 81 again 9 means 9 therefore so a cube is equal to 2 cube into 9 cube therefore cube will be cancelled means a is equal to 2 into 9 the first number a is equal to 18 for getting a value just equating the main term what is the meaning a by r means a by r a and a r therefore the condition after getting if we add to 6 to the second number second number means a plus 6 then third number add to 9 therefore a r plus 9 so now first term as it is so a by r plus a plus 6 then a r plus 9 in a p so in a p so what is the value of a 18 so 18 by r plus 18 sorry it a p no comma so a by r comma a plus 6 comma a r plus 9 therefore 18 plus 6 comma again a r means 18 r plus 9 in AP. So, second term difference, first term means 18 plus 6 means 24. Therefore, we can write now 24 minus 18 by R is equal to 18 R plus 9 minus 24. So, second term difference, first term that is called AP. Now, 24 minus 18 by R cross multiply 24 into R means 24 R minus 18 by r is equal to 18 r minus 9 sorry plus 9 minus 24 means minus 15 so cross multiply means 24 r minus 18 is equal to 18 r into r means 18 r square minus 15 r minus 15 r so starting quadrating highest term means 18 r square minus 15 r is equal to 24 r 24 r minus 18 therefore 18 r square minus 15 r 24 r bring out opposite sign means minus 24 r minus 18 bring out opposite sign means positive 18 is equal to 0 therefore 18 r square minus 15 minus 24 means minus 39 r plus 18 is equal to 0 so divided by 6 means otherwise divided by 3 only possible because 39 is there no 3 means 6 r square minus 13 r plus 6 is equal to 0 again splitting the middle term or some product rule product means positive 36 some means minus 13 already I told you we have products if we have product to positive sign means selected to same sign whether positive or negative but some negative sign therefore negative 9 and 
negative 4. Look at there, negative 9 into negative 4 means positive 36. Then negative 9 plus negative 4, negative 13. Therefore, 6R square minus 9R minus 4R plus 6 is equal to 0. Again, 3R. 3R take common outside means true R minus 3. Then, 2 or minus 3 again minus 2 take common outside means true or minus 3 is equal to 0. The common factor true or minus 3 then 3 or minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, separate 0 means true or minus 3 is equal to 0 then 3 or minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, true r is equal to positive 3, r is equal to 3 by true. There, 3 r is equal to positive 2, r is equal to true by 3. True condition is that we have to check it because if you apply r is equal to 3 by true means the result increasing means selected first 3. Sometimes this is a decreasing means that is not valid function. We can check it. So, the a is equal to common. So, when a is equal to 18, isn't it? So, a is equal to 18, then so, a is equal to 18 means the first r is equal to 3 by 2. r is equal to 3 by 2. What at the time? Geometric progression a by r comma a comma a r. What will happen? a by a is equal to 18 by r means 3 by 2 comma again a means 18 comma a r. a r means 18 into 3 by 2. So, true and 18 9 times. Again 18 into 3 6. 6, 6 true means 18 comma sorry 12 no 6 6 into 2 means 12 comma 18 comma 9 3 is a 27 this is when r is equal to 3 by 2 when r is equal to 2 by 3 means check it so when r is equal to 2 by 3 a is equal to 18 means a by r, a by r means 18 by 2 by 3 comma again a means 18, a r means 18 into 2 by 3, again 18 3 6 times, then 18 to 9 times, 9 3 is 27 comma 18, 6 2 is 12, this is order decreasing no? This only order increasing. We need the product of increasing number. Therefore, this is not valid function. Not valid. Okay. The final one, the correct suitable answer when R is equal to 3 by 2 means the increasing time 12, 18, 27. Okay. So, please listen my dear students. I hope you are satisfied in this session. If you have any doubt, please put in command box. I am ready to clarify your doubts. Okay. I will continue the next session. Bye-bye.